Dave here, how are you? And welcome to episode number 14 of What's in Arthur's Toolbox. Last week I gave a little bit of a warning as to what it would be about and it's the Stanley number 98. As a couple of people have said, and all too correctly, it is a side rabbit plane, which means it cleans out the side of a rabbit. That's R-A-B-B-E-T, not I-T. Difference there. One hops around, the other one is a slot. I don't know why they call it that. Maybe someone can throw that in. So this is a dado or a rabbit, whatever you want to call it. It's a slot and the plane goes along the edge. This is the 98. There was a 99 as well. So this was to do a left hand side or the other one could do a right hand side. Now why would they need a 99 and a 98? Well, the 98 isn't really good for this piece of timber because the grain is going the wrong direction. So if I had the 99, I could have turned the timber around and cleaned up from the other side. And you can see there that the grain is lifting up and that would have cut it off beautifully. But at the moment, this fellow is going the other direction. Looking at it, it's, I think it's a rosewood handle. It has a blade clamp. The blade slides down and it has also a depth stop. Now that little guy there is the depth stop. And if I undo this little screw here with this unbelievably huge screwdriver, great fit back then too. So you just take it out and you turn it and it goes back in that way. And now it is the front of the plane and doesn't act as a depth stop. The blade actually had some writing on it and I could not read that. I thought it was just some rust marks. So I have, uh, I'm gonna take a leaf out of Mark Spagnolo's, uh, I'm sorry if that's not the way you pronounce it, Mark, but that's the way I've said it. Uh, Max ba Mark Spagnolo, the wood whisperer, he wore some of these one night and called them his sexy specs. So, and they are unbelievably good. And now I can read it as clear as day that says Stanley, Rule and Level Co, New Britain, C-O-N-N, I'm guessing that's Connecticut, USA, number 98. Now, whoop. <laughs> I was always under the impression Stanley was an English company. I didn't know. So there you go. Made in America. I'll show you my pairing off the edge of this rabbit and you can do it in a small amount or you can set it to chopping quite deeply. Now one of the reasons you need the depth stop is if you have the blade down further, so you remember this is all one travel, so as it slides down to have depth, it's also going down deeper and will come out below the sole plate of the plane. This is only a skinny sole plate, but it does come down below it. That's why you need to turn the front part of the sole plate, the toe, I guess, have to turn it upside down in the body here and it becomes a depth stop. It goes down further and just a little bit deeper than the blade goes. And so that stops you chopping in to the bottom of the trench and really ruining it. We've got some marking gauges and they're unbelievable. I'll show you a quick picture of them. Come back and have a look. Thanks again. See you next time. It Bye. It has a tiny little bag with a button.